So now, uh, after finishing up with bonds, we will learn how to name these ionic and covalent compounds. We have different rules for naming ionic compounds. Then we will learn rules for learning covalent compounds. And compounds that have d-block elements, we apply different rules. And compounds acids, like the one which has hydrogens and oxo acids, uh, will have different ways of naming. And uh, we will deal with each one of them in this slide. Before we actually start learning how to name them, there are certain uh, things which you have to know. I have given you a list of ions and their names. And uh, these are the basically anions, a negatively charged ion. And it is necessary that you learn most of it. All the most of the common ions, you have to know the names of it for example the common ions like chloride bromide iodide you must know the symbol and the charge on it and some uncommon ions like phosphates peroxide perchlorate permanganate you need to know the symbol and also the charge on it and um, keep uh, giving it a, a reading each day once will automatically register some of the ions in your mind and uh, whenever you are uh, practicing at home, it's good to keep this next to you and then uh, 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 try to write the names of it. So with practice, uh, automatically 90% of these ions you will be able to remember. Now let's go over the rules. The first one, naming ionic compounds. Ionic compounds, you know, are formed by the combination of metals and non-metals. And the positive ion, we call it as the cation, it is named as is. And the negative ion is named as written in table 1 given before. The charge on the ion is given by group number. That is, uh, if it belongs to group 1, it will have a positive 1 charge. Group 2, it will have a positive 2. And similarly, if it is group 6 or 7, it will have a negative charge, a negative 2 and a negative 1. For example, Consider the naming of aluminum chloride. Aluminum belongs to group 3 and uh, the charge on it will be Al3+. And because we have to balance the 3 plus charge on aluminum, we have added the 3 Cl's. Therefore, the formula becomes AlCl3. And the name of this compound is, just name the cation as is, that is aluminum. And Cl is named as chloride this you have to refer to the table given before cl is named as chloride therefore the compound is aluminum chloride though we have three cl's we do not name this as aluminum trichloride in naming ionic compounds we never we do not include di tri etc so we now learn how to name covalent compounds you know covalent compounds are formed from the combination of non-metals and the number of elements has to be mentioned here as di, tri, etc. For example, when you are naming PCl3, it, we will name phosphorus as is, as is, but Cl will be named as trichloride. Therefore, the name of this compound will be phosphorus trichloride. So, unlike ionic compounds, here the number of anions have the cations has to be mentioned. Now uh, we have a different rules for compounds that has D block elements. The charge on D, D block element will be given in Roman numerals. For example, uh, Fe2SO4 thrice. The charge on iron, uh, uh, looking at the uh, prefix for uh, SO4, it's 3. Therefore, the charge on iron is 3. Therefore, it will be iron 3 sulfate. FeSO4 it will be iron 2 sulfate. How did I get that 2 there? Because you know the charge on sulfate is 2 minus. In order to balance the 2 minus on sulfate, I should have added a 2 positive. That, that's why I get iron 2 sulfate. Let's do some uh, examples. Let's start with the naming of ionic compounds. The first example given over there is ammonium uh, NH4 twice SO4. So how do I name it? The ion NH4 is called ammonium and it is uh, SO4 is sulfate and therefore we just call it as ammonium sulfate. The second one similar to that SO3 is sulfite therefore it will be ammonium sulfite. And the third one the cation is the same 
and the anion is chlorate therefore it is ammonium chlorate and uh, CrO4 is chromate and so it becomes magnesium chromate and uh, the next one is magnesium dichromate then comes calcium phosphate strontium nitrite barium hypochlorite potassium permanganate and sodium bicarbonate and, um, and you can notice that in nowhere I have used uh, like di, tri etc because it doesn't apply to ionic compounds so we are doing some more in this case the names are given you have to write the formula for it so uh, the first one is manganese 4 sulfate so write down manganese manganese is mn this is a d block element that's why the roman numeral is given so manganese the symbol for manganese is mn the symbol for sulfate is so4 the charge on sulfate is 2 minus and the charge on manganese is as given there it is 4 plus therefore cancelling the charge the formula becomes mnso4 twice so similarly the other formulas are also formula are also written iron 3 chromate is fe2cro4 thrice copper 1 thiocyanate will be cuscn anytime you forget the name of the the symbol for the anion just refer to the table then we have silver nitrate agno3 mercury 2 chlorate agclo3 twice cobalt co2 carbonate is cocl3 manganese 2 hydroxide becomes mnoh twice copper 1 nitrite is cuno2 vanadium 3 sulfite is va2 so3 three times nickel 2 borate is ni3 po3 2 now the next forms a group of uh, 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 oxychlorides and i purposely given them in an order so the first one sodium chloride sodium hypochlorite chloride chlorate perchlorate and the formula becomes NaCl, NaClO, NaClO2, NaClO3 and NaClO4. So what I want you to know is memorize the names of the anions as given. Ide, ide, clo, uh, hypochlorite, chloride, chlorate, perchlorate and you can see that in the formula the number of oxygen just increases by 1. So it will be easy for you to remember. So we will have some more examples here the table given over here has all the formula you are supposed to write their names and the co2 is a covalent compound therefore the name will be carbon dioxide the next one is dinitrogen pentoxide nitrogen dioxide dinitrogen trioxide so this is what since they are all covalent compound remember to give the uh, di the number of ions also as written there for PCL5 becomes phosphorus pentachloride and we have SBC, uh, Br6, sulfur hexabromide, then uh, silicon tetrachloride and phosphorus trichloride. So these are different from ionic compounds. Then we have another group of compounds where I have given the names and I have asked you for the formula. For referring to the table and to the names of the compounds, just put in, their, uh, put in the formula. Barium phosphate is BA3PO4 twice and so on and uh, the two acids the three acids given uh, it can be named either way as hydrogen phosphate or phosphoric acid hydrogen sulfate or sulfurous acid or hydrogen sulfate as sulfuric acid